2022 Lowrider ST fixed fairing 117. All right, folks, just left the uh, high stakes Harley Davidson here in Florence, Kentucky on the Lowrider ST. So far, I can tell this thing's got some, definitely got some serious power. Got the 117 Mark 8. I've read it has 103 horsepower. I don't, I, you know, I, I searched a little bit on that. How accurate that is, who knows. It's got 125 foot pounds of torque. Weighs in at around 721 pounds. So far, one thing I don't like about this bike is uh, where the pegs are. I feel like uh, my knees are going to hit me in the chest. But definitely got the torque. Not a big fan of fixed fairings, but I don't know. I guess it could grow on you. Definitely don't like the display here. That is way too tiny. bike comes in at uh, over 21,000, 21,749 to be exact, and uh, I don't know, I expect a little bit better display than that for that kind of money, but hey, just my opinion, just my review, and uh, that's if you get the Vivid Black. You have to pay an additional $450 if you want to get gunship gray. And yes, you can only get two colors. But as far as comfort, it feels great. So far, the torque on this bike absolutely amazing feels great I could probably get used to this fixed fairing it definitely would be easy for me to do some upgrades like the bars for sure change out these uh, pegs but yeah the positioning has to come down a little bit lower for me a little bit more forward if possible I'm, I'm sure they can <clears throat> looks like they're attaching to the frame below hell of a ride so far we'll take some back roads here and see how she does but man I mean it's the the torque is there I mean you can really feel it you get a LED headlight and tail light, but those turn signals are still incandescent. So, just so you know. Yeah, there is no lack of power here. 117 on a bike like this is, is nuts. That's probably what I don't need. This is why I don't have a uh, like a you know crotch rocket sports bike. I can see myself just uh, getting a little too crazy, but that's all right. I can say like a lot of times you see those high airflow uh, air filters, and. Uh, You think you know your your knees gonna hit it not on this bike at least where the pegs are positioned anyway absolutely not not a chance not for me but gosh man this bike is just it, it feels so comfortable like uh 
you know, like I was meant to ride this bike, you know. I mean, you drop it in gear and you need to pass, you're, you're gone. You are gone. <clears throat> now, I've rode a Road Glide before and I wasn't such a big fan, but I don't know, maybe I'll need to ride it again. I don't know, I just don't know. But definitely digging this bike. She's mean. She's she's ready to growl. Great looking bike too. This bike does have crew, cruise control, ABS, all that. So that's nice. She's like a mini touring bike. That's what I call her. Yeah, you still have those uh, bags that came off the Sport Glide that is no longer available. Uh, exact same bags. I checked them out. Yeah, I really think it needs a bigger display. I feel like you could put something right here. I, I don't know. Maybe that's the future. Depending on how well this bike does. Wow, she's growling, boy. She is growling. She feels hot on a hot day, that's for damn sure. <clears throat> All right, folks, heading back to high stakes Harley Davidson. That's pretty much it for this demo. But I appreciate you watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And always rip the ride. See you!